Dave, it's the last day of 2018. Your narrative piece last week, last video was really good. You reminded me about choosing how to see the world, being able to use presence to engage and also logic to understand the world's complexity. So with you rounding off, I wanna talk a little bit about the importance of presence and how your narrative talked about that a little bit. Yesterday, I dove deep into my journals to reflect, review, and appreciate what I've accomplished this past year and throughout my entire life. The thing about journaling every single day for about 10 to 20 minutes for four years straight is that it gets me to focus on how I live and how I create value and meaning. It's got me asking, how do I best engage to what I respond and face? What skills are worth investing in? I think it's really worth the search to find both the invisible and visible skills that are worth prioritizing and mastering, tools that we can cultivate to better understand the world around us. I recognize those as crucial, but I've landed in a place where I've decided that every moment awareness is the key to prioritize. I'm gonna dive a little deep here. I think the cultivation of the awareness of space more on the relationship between things is the greatest skill for change. After all, atoms are more space than form, and so are you. Space makes room for change, and it makes form possible. When I look at the night sky and I see so much space and very little form, its depth is breathtaking and jaw-dropping to me. It's boundless. And then I get aware that I'm stardust, and like space, I have a depth and complexity to me that's just like it. We're like a microcosmic version of the universe. It's why I remember stopping dead in my tracks the first time I went to New York City with all of the commotion around me. The space inside of me contrasted with the busyness on the outside. But I feel that same stillness when I'm fishing or when I'm alone on a rainy day. It's a space of listening and care and not one of analyzing and mind activity. I've settled that this approach a realization of depth and how much everything is connected like human narratives, a subtle stillness I sense wherever I go, is the correct place to respond to life, even if it's sudden action. The ultimate question is, what would care do here? And in your narrative piece, it sounded just like that when you were waiting for me to arrive at the station. Relaxed and ready to respond with all of your presence when necessary, but not anxious, not afraid, not hesitant. Rather than the idea of making something remarkable with our choices, I think we unveil it with our curiosity and awareness. Every moment is remarkable if we choose to see that it is. We access the wonder and the complexity of all the interwoven stories stories and realize we are one with what we face. I want to continue to do this. I want to continue to use awareness to create space. It's like space for listening and care and presence. Between mind activity, analyzing, and awareness, I think awareness should be the priority in guiding our lives. Dave, I saw you sharing some of the best moments of 2018 for you, so I'm wondering if you can either choose one of them and expand on it or give me a nice list of successes and maybe even, if you want, some failures of 2018. Into the new year through the start of 2019, I'll keep on mattering and I have faith that you will have a great start to the first Dave of the new year. Have a great Dave, Dave.